Hi, everyone. I'm here with Lubomir, uh, one of our students. And if you're ready, I will start to ask you some questions about your experience with the course. Sure. Yeah. Great. So can you give a brief description of your musical background in general? So what musical genres are you into the most? What musical instruments do you play? And so on. Yeah, so uh, I mainly play the guitar and sometimes I also play bass and drums and um, I have really a wide scope of music that I like. Uh, I really like post-rock, right. uh, I really like uh, metal, I really like jazz. There is, yeah, and I also lo love electro electronic music, so I mean, it's kind of hard to say, but everything. That's great. That's great. So what was your process for developing your musical hearing skills prior to using Use Your Ear? Well, uh, to be honest, I uh, before I never really think about, I was never really thinking about developing my ear specifically. I was just playing my guitar and other instruments and kind of played and I didn't really think that maybe the the thing is to develop your ear i was never never um yeah i didn't have this idea okay okay so you you basically uh never tried to develop your ear specifically before so, signing up. uh i did but it was really um it was not short before i i uh get to this course it was because at some point, it was probably like four months ago, I decided that I would try, uh, I would again try to learn some jazz, which I was trying before. But this time I wanted to do like, to do it like from, from the basics or something like that. So I was digging the internet and I was asking people how, how, to, how to do it. And from what I figured, there was this guy that was, saying that actually you should uh, focus on ears and that that came to me that's a good idea so i i was i was uh trying to to check the information how can i uh develop my ears so i first i came across the interval method and i was doing that for probably a month okay i i it was just corona so i i really had a lot of time i didn't go to work i was home so I would spend, I don't know, sometimes five to six hours a day. It was exhausting. And I mean, there probably was a little bit of progress in, in, in some way, but it was really, really tiring. And after, but yeah, it was not too much progress. It was just, yeah, I was pretty much, I was happy that I'm doing something, you know, that I'm trying to do something. Probably that was the, the, the main uh, reason why I was okay with that and then I just came across one time I was searching for some other stuff because uh, I realized that maybe the program the progress isn't good and or, or maybe just I didn't feel this is the right thing to do somehow I also I was uh, talking with a friend who is a jazz player and he said that uh, intervalic approach is not good but oh. he actually he actually didn't tell me uh, what to do instead. You know, I didn't have a clue what to do. So, so we, he said that this is not good, but he didn't say what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, the same so, thing that happened to me. Exactly the yeah. same thing. <laughs> so, 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 so I was just trying to, to check something on the internet and uh, there was really not too much information. And then one day I, I, it came to, to my mind that what I want is to essentially to get in touch with notes and to 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 grasp them uh, internally somehow and what i what i figured that maybe if i type something like music alchemy like because it's like like alchemy like you put one thing to another and you so i, I thought maybe if, if i put something like that i will find something and i think it was then where uh, i came across your course somehow it just popped up okay and and yeah that's that's I, I how I found the find your course. Okay, and so um, 
so you, you mentioned that you were practicing um, the with the intervals app, yeah. basically, like right? Yeah, okay. yeah. So um, how much, how many time it, it lasts? You, how many time you, you practice? How long? Uh, I think, I think, uh, fortunately, it was just one month, but it was really intense. I was doing it like every day. Yeah. yeah. And if you practice six hours a day, it's, it's a lot. Yeah. Like, like yeah, some, sometimes just one hour. Right. But, yeah, but, yeah. uh, I hope lot, so. Lot, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hope so uh, for your mental, <laughs> for your mental, yeah, health, yeah. you know, because it's six a- hours of intervals for one month. Yeah. Is, it's something that I can't imagine. <laughs> Yeah, the thing is that I really had time because I didn't go to work, so it was like I thought it is a good good time to spend it like that. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Great. So, um, so you mentioned that uh, you didn't have felt lots of progress with, with that, right? But do you remember yeah. other cons, particular cons or, or disadvantages that that methodology was kind of uh, Show yeah, it, it's uh, I didn't really enjoy it. That, that, that's the one thing. I wasn't having fun when I was doing it. I was doing it because I was believing that it will help me, but I was really, it, I wasn't really enjoying it. And also, it was really tiring for some reason. I remember I, I, I made a list of the songs. Which, which were referring to the intervals. And I was always trying to think of those songs and it didn't really stay. And I mean, yeah. after, after, after maybe two weeks, I already uh, had, those, had those songs and I could kind of like uh, think of it uh, on the interval, interval I needed, but it just, it was really hard. I don't know. It was really hard. Great. So it was tiring. Okay. So, um, What challenges or problems were you experiencing that led you to search for a solution? I mean, apart from, uh, let's put aside the fact that it was tiring, that you didn't felt progress. Mm -hmm. There weren't any other problems that you wanted to solve. Uh, I just, I just think, uh, I just felt that this probably will not help me in some point i just felt that it was maybe intuition and i just sure. felt that this is yeah uh, i just wasn't okay with 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 that i i was like i was i felt that i'm not in the right on the right path you know so there was still something i, I was looking for the information oh okay so and You just told us that um, it was about a month uh, mm-hmm. before you realized that wasn't the, the, right, um, so the yeah. right way for you. Mm-hmm. And then you just uh, found out our method right mm-hmm. away at, at the end of that month. Basically. Yes, it was, just, it was just like a miracle. I, I mean, I just typed something and your video came out came up and it was like, okay, this is, this makes sense. Like this is, yeah, that, that's how, we, that's how, we, how it was. So after one month, mir- like, like a miracle happened. And that's, that's when I found, found this. Oh, that's great. That's great. So uh, can you describe the criteria you used when making the decision of signing up to the course? Oh, Okay. Uh, well, I was super. Uh, I was surprised that the, the price wasn't too high. It was. It was okay. And also, I'm not really. Uh, I don't buy too much stuff through the internet, so it's not really like uh, I'm not this kind of person that would. Uh, I normally like to go places and buy stuff not not uh, do it like like this and so i was kind of skeptical ab- about that but since uh, it made a lot of sense what what i i what you were talking about i was also t- checking uh, your other videos 
And since I didn't find any equivalent to, to that, I, I, tr I decided that, yeah, I, I will just try it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you, you just found out that it, it made sense. Yeah, and, and yeah, and, the theory, and then, theory. yeah, and, and in one point, uh, I also, like, I found it, and then I, th I was thinking about it, like, maybe five days, and uh, I want to make sure that it, that it actually is real. So I I, yeah. I I write you an email with three questions. It was I I mean sure I was interested in those questions, but what I wanted to do the most is I I wanted to get the answer from you. So I know that there is actually somebody real yeah. behind the project. There's something and that that's that's yes that yeah. that was really important for me that that somebody actually is there. And once I you, you I got your response, I was like, okay, I'm I definitely go and buy, and buy the course. Oh, that's great! That's great. So, uh, how long have you been following uh, this method? Uh, I'm not sure if maybe maybe either it's two months or maybe it's one month and a half or something like okay. that. I'm not, I'm not really sure. I don't Between remember. One month and two months, right? Something, something like between. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you talked about this earlier a bit, but what type of goals do you want to accomplish using this method? Okay. So goals. yeah, like, um, what I like uh, in the music the most is improvisation. So what uh, my idea of music is being in the practice room and just improvise with, with like two people and like do it for hours. So what I want to accomplish is uh, because I can do it now, right? I, I'm, I can play the guitar and I'm not that bad. Uh, but the thing is that once I start to improvise, improvise, normally I, I f somehow I get to an idea and then I just keep repeating it because uh, I am not capable of, of developing it too much because I get lost then. So I, what, I, what I want to get is um, to have good understanding of the music so I can uh know what what's happening actually in the music so i can be developing the ideas what what i'm creating at at, at a spot that that's what i want to get and that's the that's, that's one goal and later on maybe i would also like to uh, uh i would like to get to to a jazz a, a little bit at least okay okay but the, but but the main goal is uh to be better at improvisation yeah to basically to say it in other with another with other words uh basically to develop an intuitive connection with music so that you can react to yes what, yes yes to yes yes what yes. you hear that um the harmony is doing and play some uh interesting lines over it uh let's say let's call them adequate lines melodic yeah lines, i mean I, without uh, to having to think without having yes to think just yeah i i mean i i want to know where i am in the music like okay i i see th this was this kind of chord this was that kind yeah. of chord and then yeah this could go there and this could go there and maybe yeah. it will be interesting so yeah i want to know where i'm standing when i play the music yeah yeah okay that's great so what was the most obvious advantage you felt the usual ear method offered compared to other methodologies especially the, the previous one you were following, so the interval method? Uh, I think it was the, the fact that they, they were easy, um, easy exercises, which made sense and they were connected to each other. And I saw that, that there is, there is a, like a progression, like, like, like step, you will step back. Step by yes, yes, and that was really important because it, it I understand uh, the, your explanations were really clear. Yeah. So I was understanding what I'm doing, and I was understanding why am I doing it. And also, I, I it was so intuitive. It was like, sure, this is what I was thinking, but I I I, I didn't really have the words for it before. But this, yeah, it just made totally sense. Okay. And all, all, 
also what i what i liked a lot was uh i'm i'm a student of psychology and uh, you were using you are using some uh um uh method like you are using some st- topics you are t- talking about some topics that i i was learning about as well okay. so it, it it was really it was going together so okay. was i was like okay so i'm studying this and he's saying that it it, it matches so it, it helped me as well okay great and so there were um any other advantages you discovered after following this method regularly i mean some unexpected thing that might have happened and of course it's not uh, mandatory they can happen yeah yeah you know, so yeah i mean sure uh, what happened is that uh after one month i i no i mean it was sooner after 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 week or or so i i i realized that that some of the tones i actually have in my mind already so i know i recognize i can recognize them it was like after one week or something and there was something totally new and then after after a month uh it was clear it was much clearer than before and after one month and a half uh it's there already inside and it's it's something totally new that i, I like i can hum a melody and uh i cannot do it instantly but i have to think a little bit or just focus my attention but normally i can match the 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 the, the tones and that's that's incredible I, i i wouldn't think that i would be actually ever able to, to do that so it's it's that, it's great. actually yeah he's gone yeah uh it it's exactly uh when when you were talking about uh in your other videos that is about learning language and i think it's exactly that because uh i can speak few uh foreign languages and uh i was learning them so i i can compare the process and i think it's really similar yeah. because uh you just need it's exactly how you have you said that uh you need to, the, the singing is really important because even in language uh when i was only learning some language at school with some teachers uh they were giving us some information but we were to- we weren't talking so i couldn't really learn anything yeah. but then i went abroad i had some basic uh, information about the about the, the language but once i started to speak and once i uh needed to fill the words with meaning that that's when i uh, actually started to learn the language and this is the same thing because i think uh you need to realize that that it's like kind of communication that that Uh, you need to see um uh, yeah no, whatever yeah 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 no 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 i i got i got your point yeah you need to see um the meaning internalize, behind like internalize to internalize the meaning yes oh, exactly it's like like each each tone is a meaning and yeah and and you need yeah 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 and for yeah. example when you were talking about uh the that you had some uh sounds that you uh were familiar to even prior um subscribing to the course mm-hmm. okay and then the course only made you realize oh i can recognize this right yeah for yeah. example i yeah. think maybe you were talking we were thinking about the tonic uh huh? maybe i don't know you were meaning the the sounds like uh the degrees probably right Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, okay. yes. That's what I meant. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Great. So, yeah. Um, yeah. And also, uh, also, also, for example, the uh, I'm if I come like like two months ago, I, I would never be able to uh, if you would play me a progression, I would never be able to to guess the 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 chords. Never. Now I'm quite good at it actually, and it, it took just I'm. It's not even two months. And it's, oh. it's incredible. Yeah. So I'm really surprised. It works. That's great. That's awesome. So um, let's, since next question is, next question is about improvements and we're already talking about improvements. Uh, so basically, what are the improvements you noticed? You, 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 um, yeah. You mentioned so, scale degree. Yeah. So, so, so yeah. Mm, I can recognize the scale degree. 
it still takes some time. I mean, it, I'm not uh, perfectly fast. It still takes some time to recognize it. But uh, if, like, if you if you play me a melody that is not going uh, too fast, then I can uh, write it down. Like, so so. But but it, it cannot be too fast. It's the same thing with chords. Yeah. Uh, and which yeah, and and also uh, the inversions. Yeah, that that works too. That works too, and I'm that, that I, I'm quite surprised because I, I can see there how how uh, it moves. Like, like I, I started with inversion just about I don't know three weeks ago, and first it was really difficult for me to uh, hear like I heard chords and to distinguish distinguish the the three no, uh, tones in there. Yeah, and and week after week, uh, it just it's more and more clear and now i yeah. i i you play it and i just pretty fast i i can sync uh the, the free notes pretty, pretty quickly so that's that's also uh and identify which is the root note yes yes exactly yes. exactly yeah that's great that's great to hear that yeah so uh basically you talked about uh recognizing the scale degrees recognizing melodies recognizing chord progressions recognizing the root note uh, of a group of notes played harmonically or let's say the inversion position of um, of a triad and yeah that's that's a lot <laughs> to say in one month and a half or something like that right so um on the on a similar side have you noticed any reduced effort or boredom in your ear training practicing routine compared to the previous methodologies you were following? Uh, what I have to say that this actually, uh, and this now it, I start to re realize that it looks like a commercial, but it's not a commercial. <laughs> I mean, I really enjoy, I really enjoy the course. I mean, uh, the thing is the, the, the advantage, maybe it's just, just for me, maybe for somebody else as well, but uh, one of the ex exercises you, co you called it uh, meditation practice yeah and the, the, the funny thing is that uh, I meditate I, I do my meditation practice yeah. uh, and uh, there uh, with some exercises that, that you made uh, I actually kind of feel like I'm meditating it's yeah. like it's really re relaxing like for example uh, the scale um, the reading or yeah, the reading of tones you have this, this uh, yeah uh, the, yeah the side some side reading side, side reading side yeah. reading uh, for me it's like meditation I just sit and I look and I, and I play the background and it's totally uh, comforting it it actually I, I look forward to the, for, to that that and that, that's awesome <laughs> that's and also some 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 other, other exercises that they, they um, are really fun to do for me I don't know with, that's perhaps great. somebody that's else great. but yeah. That's great. Uh, so uh, how do you compare this method to the interval, the interval method, which was the previous methodology you were following in terms of efficiency? So time spent practicing versus results you noticed. Okay, well, uh, it, to be honest, it's, it's hard to compare because I don't really, didn't really spend too much with intervals. Well, I think, I think that you spent almost this, a similar time since. You yeah, that's true. Yeah. Long. If you put it this way. Yeah. So uh, when I was, I, I was uh, doing the interval method for one month, it was really tiring and the results were, there were some results, but I wasn't satisfied at all with those results. And here I, I, I can see how it goes gradually. And it's just building. It's building uh, slowly, but it's stable, and it's it's really it's a re re really efficient process, I think. Okay, so in about a month, uh, mm -hmm. both methods. Mm -hmm. uh, how much results you 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 saw from the interval method on a scale one to ten compared okay. to to this on a scale one okay. to ten? Yeah, in so in it, 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 interval, met, interval method, maybe maybe two out of ten, and this, like, I don't know, nine or ten oh, out that's, of ten. That's huge. I didn't expect that's, it. 
That's it is totally huge. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's, okay, it's, a, okay. it's a big okay. difference. So, and we're talking about the same time uh, framework because we're talking about a month practicing yeah. the interval method and a month practicing uh, this method. So, yeah, but the, the truth is that I didn't. Maybe if I would do the interval method for more months, maybe it would be it would get better. I don't know. I yeah, don't have yeah, this experience. I mean, I mean, in terms of efficiency, yeah. we're we're really talking about yeah. time. Okay. The yeah, that's time true. And the results. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's the same. It's a month compared to a month, and yeah. I don't know. That's uh, true. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I think that nine versus two. Uh, speaks by itself you know that's true, and yeah. i i really see you you're being honest and I, i mean uh i want you to be honest and you, you really seem to to say the truth there's no one pointing a gun on you yeah. so, so you can <laughs> yeah. and, and totally say the truth um okay that's great and so um let's talk about how easily uh or not easily you can apply this, the way of thinking that I suggest to real music. Mm -hmm. So um, do you think this method, the, the way of thinking that I suggest is easily applicable to real music or? What I can, what, what I can see now is like when, when I hear some song or if I think of a song, uh, very often i can i can match the the tones the the great the the scale the grades the, the scale degree yeah you, i can match you it can, you can find out the scale degree yes right? i can i can find out uh, not every time but uh, quite often i, I can yeah. and i couldn't before so i think it says for itself that it that i am better oriented than than i was before so i think there this is what i can say but i didn't didn't try it yet with my band so i don't know Okay, 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 okay. And um, how do you think this method compares? And that's the last question that I make you compare this method to the intro. <laughs> I, I, I promise. But how do you think the two way of thinking, different way of thinking suggested by mm -hmm. one side, the interval method, and the other side, this method, are uh compares to each other on how much they are easily applicable to real music i mean do you think that the interval method is that easily applicable to real music as this method uh i don't think so because uh Were you again i i i just i just had one, one one month of experience but uh when I, when i was trying to when i was hearing a song and i was trying to find an interval for it it was It was just a painful process, right? And so for me, at that point of time, after one month, I really, uh, I couldn't use it. So it for example, for example, for let's make this, this example. Uh, you, told, you told us about uh, being able to recognize some melodies, basically, in real songs, mm -hmm. okay? By recognizing the scale degrees, you were able to figure out some melodies. Mm -hmm. Were you able to do the same after one month of practice using the interval method well uh i could only thing i could do was like there was a melody and i would pick two two notes then yes i i could i could do that for, for these two notes but that, that's it i could identify one interval like if they were if there were 10 following notes and i would just focus on two notes then i i probably could identify identify it but That was it because af afterwards I I I don't know what to do because yeah it does it's not in context so I, I I was lost then so okay so every every two notes you had to reestablish yeah. uh, yes kind of yes 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 and yes. you had to to re uh, to identify the new interval and then the other interval yes the next yes interval. yes so it, uh, a lot, it would take a lot of effort it was totally a lot of effort yeah. and and and. I suppose a lot of time uh, yeah. compared yeah. to just recognizing the scale degrees, which most of the time happens very quickly. Or yeah. just tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, I mean, on a, on, uh, from a time perspective, from a uh, speed perspective, what do you think the difference is? 
uh, you felt a big difference or not? A, a big, big difference, big yes. Difference. Yes, big difference. Okay, great. So, last question. You answered a lot of questions today. <laughs> <laughs> what has most impressed you about the methodology I suggest? Uh, I So far, I'm just on the third less uh, unit from, uh, I think there's 12, 14, 14, 14 units. in total. Yeah. Yeah. So far it's, it was really clear uh, and very good explained. And even though there is not a teacher in like, um, there is no real time teacher. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I feel quite confident that I know what I'm doing and what I'm supposed to do which is for me it's really really important i, I need to have some guidance oh, that's uh, i would yeah so this this is also why it, this course works very well for me so basically the instructions you received were very clear is that yeah right? yeah yes that's what I, that, that's important for me and yeah also the truth is that that anytime i i, I ask something uh on on the in the course the the, res the response uh came quite i mean soon in the latest was i think maybe two days or something but yeah normally it's it's much much sooner so yeah it's yeah we, we, we were a bit busy these days because we are kind of uh yeah uh, moving our, the company from a um, legal point of view on to another direction and we are doing a lot of paperwork and mm -hmm. meetings so, so it's it's a bit uh, we have a bit less time these days but it will yeah uh, it will uh, we will fix this very soon <laughs> hopefully but there's no need I mean that was just two days I were just, just enough I mean I, I was not really like stuck on something so it was, it was just yeah fun. yeah that's that's great that's great but I mean uh, that's that's uh, you said a lot of very interesting things and i think that sharing your experience and i hope that your experience uh the experience that you're sharing will help other people too so uh it's very very interesting and um uh, anyway uh i think you don't have anything to add <laughs> after mm -hmm. this uh all these questions so um, yeah I hope uh, you have a great day. I thank you that uh, you let us, have, you let me have this interview with you and I hope you have a good day. I hope to see you soon in the course and I hope to, that you get lots of results um, yeah. in the course. Okay. So thank you. Thank you yeah. very much. And uh, yeah, thank you for making this course. It's really, uh, I'm happy that something like this actually exists because I would probably be looking for other stuff and struggling for, for a long time. And, and yeah, I'm happy that, that somebody actually put something like this together. Oh, that's and I'm, I'm actually, I'm really surprised that this doesn't, um, that I couldn't find anything uh, uh, like this before. I'm really surprised because I mean, it's, it's logical it, it's, that you should learn it like this, I think. So I, un I don't understand why, why it's nowhere. I quite I quite understand your feelings since I I hope that someone else made it for me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I didn't have it when I learned yeah. it. It was very rough, I think. That's the right word to say. It was difficult and frustrating. And I mean it's you need to have a lot of patience also if you have a uh, uh, um, good also if you have good instructions. But yeah. uh, you know, if you don't have good instructions, it's very, very painful. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's like experience it. Uh, I yeah. think it's it's like just just like with the language. I mean, uh, you need to be motivated, but if if you if you speak and if you if you, if, you, if there is somebody who explain you the rules, you 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 just yeah. you you cannot fail. I mean, you yeah. will. It's like is it, like you said at, uh, in one one of your your videos. It's like it's not really about talent. I think it's yeah. like. When you learn your mother language, it's not that you are talented. You just learn your language. You just use your skill, and I think this is the same thing. Yeah, exactly. You just yeah. you just need need to find the approach where you actually speak the music. You need to speak the music. That that's like that's all. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's about the way you process things mentally and the way you yeah. uh, you approach 
you you put it's what you focus on basically it's yeah. it's it's that and having some guidance for sure helps you focus on the right thing at the right moment <laughs> and then mm -hmm. helps you hopefully and it seems so so uh, yeah. i'm glad that that happened uh again thank you very much have a good thank day you. and hope to see you soon yeah thank you bye bye another ciao